Kathleen with the Bay St. Louis Library and welcome to Storytime. This week's Storytime is going to be about Mo Willems. He is a very famous children's author who has created some fabulous characters like Nuffle Bunny and Cat the Cat. And we're going to explore some of his books today and do some fabulous crafts that have to do with Mo Willems characters. Uh, we're also going to learn how to say Bunny Rabbit in sign language, and we're going to end with Excel by Five in Tootie Top. Okay, this book is called Cat the Cat, Who is That? And it is written and illustrated by Mo Willems, as all of our books are today. It has some really fun characters, really easy words, and it's going to be um, Cat the Cat, meeting her friends, and then making a new friend. So let's see who she, who she meets. Cat the cat, who is that? It's Mouse the mouse. Hi, Mouse the mouse. Hello there. Cat the cat, who is that? Hmm, oh, I see something right there. It's Duck the Duck. Hi, Duck the Duck. A pleasure as always. Cat the Cat, who is that? Hmm, somebody's blowing bubbles. It's Fish the Fish. Hi, Fish the Fish. He's doing, she's doing a cartwheel. Hey, dude. I guess Fish the Fish is pretty cool. Cat the Cat likes her friends. Sure do. Cat the Cat, who is that? Ape? Oh, looks a little startled. Look at her tail, it's all puffed up. Who is this? I have no idea. So this one says, Blargy Blargy. And Cat says, maybe, oh, he's smiling. He says, Blargy Blargy, it's a new friend, Blargy Blargy. Okay, this book, also written and illustrated by Mo Willems, is called The Pigeon Needs a Bath. And on the cover, the pigeon says, I do not. The pigeon is very contrary, and he's kind of he's kind of stubborn about things. There are several books about pigeon. He's hilarious, but this one he needs a bath, but he doesn't think he needs a bath. This says, "Hi, I don't know if you've noticed, but the pigeon is filthy, so I could use your help because the pigeon needs a bath." Here's the pigeon peeking out right here. He said, that's a matter of opinion. What a kidder. I don't really need a bath, but he looks pretty grubby to me. I took one last month. I think it was last month. Hmm, scritch, scritch. Clean, dirty. They're just words, right? I feel clean. Maybe you need a bath. Oh, he's getting pretty sassy now. Yeah, when, when, when was the last time that you had a bath? Oh, that was pretty recently. Yeah. Life is so short, why waste it on unimportant things? Like taking a bath. What smell? I don't smell anything. He's smelling. I don't, I don't smell anything. And if I do, it's a very normal smell for a pigeon. You know, in some places, it's impolite to bait. Oh, there's all these little flies buzzing around now. Buzz, buzz. All of these flies buzzing around me are purely coincidental. This fly says, P.U. This one says, yuck. This fly says, let's get out of here. 
And this fly says, take a bath, dude. Pigeon's like, what? Okay, fine. If it means so much to you, I'll take a bath. Whoa, there's a big old bathtub. I'm not going to like this one bit. He says, the water's too hot, too cold, too lukewarm, too hot, too wet, too cold, not enough toys, too many toys, too deep, not deep enough, too cold, now it's too hot again, too reflective. That's still too hot. Well, I guess this is okay. So he's just making lots of excuses. He jumps in, splash! Hey, this is fun. Wash, 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 washy. La, 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 singing in the tub. This is the life. He's like hiding under the water here. Oh, I love bubbles. Look at my wrinkly toes. Hello, hello, how are you? I'm fine. He's talking to his rubber duck. I'm a fish, I'm a fish. 10 hours later. Can I stay in the tub forever? And he is just splish splashing. Okay, so we're gonna learn how to say bunny rabbit in sign language because of Nuffle Bunny, which is one of Mo Willem's characters. So you make this and you have the back of your hand facing away from you. Put it up like this and your little fingers pop up like bunny rabbit ears. And that is bunny rabbit in sign language. All right, so this book is called Nuffle Bunny. It's the first in a series about Trixie and her favorite stuffed animal called Nuffle Bunny and her family. And as in all of my Willems books, the pigeon, even though he's not in this story, likes to do some photo bombing and sneak into some of the pictures. All right, so here's Nuffle Bunny. It's got some great artwork where it has real photographs and then illustrated people on top of it. It's pretty fun. So this says, not so long ago, before she could even speak words, Trixie went on an errand with her daddy. Trixie and her daddy went down the block, and she's carrying Nuffle Bunny, and he's got the laundry. They went through the park. There's somebody walking his dog. They went past the school and into the laundromat. Trixie helped her daddy put the laundry into the machine. So it looks like she's a big help. She even got to put the money into the machine. She's smiling because she got to help. But a block or so later, Trixie realized something. Uh oh, look at that face. Trixie turned to her daddy and said, Aggle, flaggle, clavel. That's right, replied her daddy. We're going home. She looks a little upset. Aggle, flaggle, clavel, said Trixie again. Blaggle, plavel. Won't be flappy. Shh, nerp. She is very upset. Now, please don't get fussy, said her daddy. Well, she had no choice. Trixie bawled. Wah! She went boneless. That's where you just can't even pick yourself up. She did everything she could to show how unhappy she was. She's waving her arms. Everybody's looking at her. By the time they got home, her daddy was unhappy too. He doesn't look very happy at all. She's still screaming. As soon as Trixie's mommy opened the door, she asked, where's Nuffle Bunny? Oh, look at Trixie. She's looking at her dad like, didn't you understand me? The whole family ran down the block and they ran through the park. They zoomed past the school and into the laundromat. 
Trixie's daddy looked for Nuffle Bunny and looked and looked and looked. Uh oh, look at Trixie's eyes. But Nuffle Bunny was nowhere to be found. So Trixie's daddy decided to look harder until Nuffle Bunny. And those were the first words Trixie ever said. Welcome to our Mo Willems Storytime Craft and Activity Kits. As you know, we talked about Nuffle Bunny and Cat the Cat, and there are a whole lot of different Mo Willems characters. So we've got several activity sheets, coloring sheets that you can do that have Mo Willems characters. Um, remember how to say bunny rabbit in sign language. Two fists on top of your head and you poke up your two fingers on each hand like they're little bunny rabbit ears popping up and that is for Nuffle Bunny and Bunny Rabbit. All right, you'll need crayons, scissors, glue stick or some kind of glue. You might need a parent to help you with things, but we have your very own Sneaky Pigeon Craft Kit because you know how Sneaky Pigeon, the pigeon in Mo Willems books likes to hide in every one of his books. So if you check one out, make sure you look for the pigeon. But you're going to be able to make your very own pigeon that you can place behind you in different pictures, your very own sneaky pigeon. All you're going to need to do is cut out the pieces and you have a toilet paper roll that you're going to wrap the rectangle around. Cut out the legs that go on the bottom. The wing goes on the side. There's a Google eye on the head and it sticks out over the top. And then you bend your little legs after you glue them on it so he can sit on any surface. Hope you enjoyed your craft today and we will see you next week. Right now, get ready for Tutita and Excel by Five. Thanks for joining us.